Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us, and for this bonus unboxing video, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. So what I've got in here is I've got seven or eight different things in here, so I'm not going to do this like a guessing game, it would just be way too hard. Um, because, yeah, they're all different, they're all not really related, I suppose. The only thing that relates to them is they are all Japanese. Um, a couple of them are exclusives, actually, so a couple of them are like really nice things, and they're going to be great additions to my collection, and I'm going to love showing and sharing them with you in a second. But yeah, it would just be way too hard. And I'm going to be honest, a few of the names I don't even know, I've totally forgotten. Uh, but this is going back to what I was saying about at the beginning of the year, that the fact that I had to, and I'm going to start um, maybe having to yeah, do exactly what this is, sourcing things from different places, bringing everything together. Um, and exactly what I'm doing. So one of the pieces you're going to guess or know straight away is this, for example. Um, that's why I've not done a video on it yet. I know that the piece that I'm going to get, and fingers crossed it should be in here now, um, isn't going to affect anything to do with the video because we've got the robot, we've got the shell, etc. But I was missing the hip part. Um, although I haven't got them all yet, obviously I'm going to need the hip to be able to build up Monstructor. But I've found that sometimes it can be beneficial. Perfect. It can be beneficial to do exactly pretty much what I'm doing, and that's just buy little bits at once and source them, etc., and find them in different places. And for those people who don't really know, um, like on the Japanese websites or the auction sites, they do this thing. I suppose the best thing I can relate it to is Big Bad Toy Store do, I think it's called a pile of loot. And I never, I, it's something that they've done in Japan for as long as I've been buying from there. Because everything's brought from an individual seller and then it goes into like a holding unit, they'll hold things for up to 90 days, which is obviously fantastic. Um, because of course shipping's so expensive, especially when you come in getting things from there. So rather than just buying one thing and then shipping it over, you've got you know got a full three months to to get your pieces all together and then ship it all at once. So it makes it so much so much easier for obvious reasons. So I've got a few things in here. Um, again, they obviously all are from Japan. They are all a bit mixed up, um, and a couple of things just you probably things you didn't even realise that I didn't have to be honest. So I've got uh, six turbos instructions. Uh, which when I did the video I didn't have, so now I've got six turbos instructions, um, a couple of techno, not techno, but Terracon instructions, so I've got cutthroats and I've got blots instructions there, so that means that's just going to complete my figures obviously, and then in here we've got some interesting things, and this is where you're going to laugh at me because I, I don't even know some of the names, but there you go, perfect, so that's the piece that I wanted, so that is the waist piece for this guy and again this guy is rare you so that means now that i can do the full review of this so that means yep here we go that will rest in there oh his tail's come out so there you go guys so there it is it's all complete um yeah i can't wait to do the full review on this guy now so that was one of the little accomplishments from this now the next thing that we've got in here is um some micromasters now one of them <laughs> it was one of the epic fails before I was doing my epic fail videos. Um, it was for Six Builder, and it's the reason why I've not done an updated Six Builder video because, unbeknownst to you guys, the viewers, when I was making the video, I, I, I have no look. I snapped this guy completely in half. So um, I'll show you when I do the when I update the video. I took him out of the back, and because the plastic was so old and brittle, it just snapped. So now, this is just one, just one MicroMaster from Six Builder. So I can now do the proper video on him as well. So I'm really excited about that. And then I also took the opportunity while I was out there and scouring to find the ones that you just don't see. So the redecoed or the repainted ones. And um, I'm really sorry, but I know one of my friends, Big Matt, who I've brought Japanese stuff off, really wants this guy. Um, and I managed to find him and this guy. So these may look like normal ones, but these are repainting Japanese exclusives. These ones are probably less um, less known. I, th I suppose the most, the most noticeable or the ones that you'll know the more about would be this guy. So this was from the race patrol. Someone's put a sticker on it, but yes, that this guy's normally yellow, isn't he? And then of course this is from the uh, military patrol, but again a completely different colour. Unfortunately, missing his turret. But again, I don't have any of these, so these are great. These are brilliant little additions, and yeah, exactly that. So I've got. I can do. I might do a video on them ones by themselves, just because they're different. Show you the ones that they're supposed to be, or the ones that they're the versions of. And again, really pleased. I can do a six builder. Uh, I can do uh, rare you. Um, yeah, so there you go. Buying the little bits in bulk 
not a little bits and bulk, little bits at a time. It's it's fun as well. So I told you never to guess it. You couldn't have guessed it because you, you might all be right. I don't know the names. I will learn the names. I will learn the names and I'll get back to you very soon. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.